Welcome to Scotty's Garage for the first video and hopefully a long series of videos on how to do maintenance, repairs, and things on your vehicle in your own home. Um, I like to work on everything from obviously my Harley Davidson's to a Vespa that was given to me, a Velo Solex from 1975, which is just a fun vehicle. Um, I also get calls from friends all the time to do things for them and help them. I used to work in automotive repair. I worked on a lot of cars and I was 13 years old when I started working on cars with my dad. He uh, he brought home in classic, now it's really a classic, uh, a 1966 Mark 10 Jaguar that was in horrible condition and him and I, uh, primarily him, I was more of pass me the screwdriver at that point because I barely even knew what a screwdriver was. Uh, and he, so he thought it was more important that I learn from the basics and learn from him all of the different things. And over time, I became more and more proficient with my uh, skills, ended up working in automotive repair where I, it really took off. Now I know so many different things about vehicles. Well, like I said, um, I used to work in automotive repair. I currently am a middle school counselor. Um, having come from automotive repair, I've also worked in construction. Um, I even was a teacher prior to becoming a counselor. When I work with my kids, I try to give them the best options. And I found that sometimes the best options is not what everybody thinks. For example, this front brake master cylinder. A lot of people will turn around and just buy a new one. Some of us, we like to take it a little further and rebuild it. I've already cleaned this one. That's why it's all nice and shiny and looks new because I've cleaned it, but we're going to rebuild it. Um, it is a good master cylinder. Uh, it was taken off of a motorcycle, but since I don't know how long it sat, how long it was used, I'm going to go ahead and pull this brake master cylinder out and put a new one in. Welcome to Scotty's Garage. This is actually our first video and what I am doing is doing a repair on my motorcycle. I have a 2006, <laughs> sorry too many vehicles in the garage at the moment, uh, a 2006 Harley Davidson Softail FLSTI. The I stands for fuel injector because in 06 they came carbureted and injected. So you did have that option. Uh, mine happens to be an injected model. The prior owner of this um, Harley put a chrome uh, levers and covers. They liked chrome. I'm not a chrome person. Um, I like the original black when it comes to my levers and brake master and all that kind of stuff, as well as other parts. I just happen to like uh, the way black looks on it. So in mine, I have been slowly changing it over. The last thing left was to change the brake master cylinder for the front. Um, this chrome aftermarket front brake master cylinder tends to leak from the seal on the top. I've already replaced the cap once before and it started to leak again. And I'm just like, I'm done with it. So I went on the internet. I found everything in black, including a master cylinder. As a matter of fact, this is the one I found. I've already cleaned it. Uh, the only thing I haven't done is I haven't changed out the piston. I don't know how long this thing was on a motorcycle or off of a motorcycle. I'm not taking a chance with the br front brakes and allowing the front brakes to be nothing more than a guess if they're going to work. So I went ahead and went to Harley Davidson and spent, uh, well, according to this, $30.40 for a brake master kit which on these, the Brake Master, I'm gonna grab my little knife that I keep nearby. The Brake Master kits come with a seal to, or a dust cover if you want actually. A dust cover as well, there we go. As the plunger, a little bit of lube, which is really nice for these. Comes with the dust cap, like I said. The seal for the dust cap, which just goes over it like this. You'll see where it goes when we build it. The brake master cylinder piston itself with its O-rings and it looks like they even updated them and that's a Teflon 
which is a nice thing, a Teflon seal. And that's the whole entire thing there, as well as the plunger spring, which is cool. All you have to do is take one of these. Like I said, I cleaned this one. Um, I had a buddy of mine who found out what I was going through. He gave me one of his own that he pulled off a of fat boy. Unfortunately, he took it off the motorcycle. As you can see, it looks pretty good until you look inside and it was filthy. Um, so I said, well, you know what? I've got one. I can use that one there as a spare for later on. And I had this one here, which all it needs is, I had cleaned it and taken it apart. It was really filthy. I, and this is actually one of the easiest things you'll ever do. In this case, there's nothing wrong with it. It wasn't leaking. It didn't show any signs here of weep uh, fluid inside of it or anything like that. So that's a good sign. That means that it wasn't leaking. It was most likely really working well when it was pulled out. But like I said, this is strictly for my peace of mind and it's such an easy thing to do. For a little bit of money, you get to do it. All you really have to do is you start by taking this, taking a pair of pliers. Um, you can, if you want, wrap this, but since we're replacing the dust cap, I didn't bother and all I do is with a little bit of force, there it is. There's the dust cap out, same thing, pull, and as you saw the spring go flying, please be careful with that. The original spring went flying. Keep them separate so you don't mix them. There it is. And remember I told you, there's a little bit of a difference. Here's the original one I pulled out. This is the one that's gonna go into the brake master. It's the same thing, same size, everything's the same. Okay, I'm holding it upside down if, or backwards, if, whatever you wanna call it. And you see the Teflon on one and not the other. To put it back in, all you have to do is take a little bit of lube. Take a little bit of lube, get it out of there. Have a napkin nearby, paper towels, whatever. Um, and there you go, see there's the lube. This lube is made for going onto this because you gotta realize this is gonna take brake fluid. Brake fluid is very, very personal. It's It takes uh, it's caustic, it, it absorbs water, it has a lot of little properties and things that you have to be aware of. So when you do this, just put in a nice little finger amount of lube so it's slippery and will slide in nicely. There you go. Uh, that's one. Here's the other. Gets a nice little lube onto it. I might make another video with the other one and show a little more detail on how to do this. There we go. A little, just a touch on that back one so it's a little bit on dry. Didn't have that much on my finger. There we go. All right. Now, when I mentioned earlier, there we go, complete again. I'm gonna put it on top of the loop pack so it doesn't get anywhere. Now, like I mentioned before, there's a dust seal or gasket it's still in there you can see it right there well to remove it is not overly difficult it takes a screwdriver since you're not going to reuse it and we're not caring about it all you do is you put it in there and carefully pop it out i don't like to do this without seeing so let's see if i can get that little guy out there we go and that's out. Now, I damaged it. I literally put my screwdriver right through it. This is why you buy the, uh, the, luckily the kit comes with one. If it didn't, I would recommend it because this is one of those things that will stop your project right then and there. It is done. You have nothing more to do. So, this is no longer any good. You have a trash can. Into the trash can it goes. Now, You've got the exposed bore. I've already cleaned this out, like I said, so I'm gonna take this cap off, which is a replacement cap. Might as well change it, you're there. Buy one, throw it on, who cares? It's a, not overly expensive and it's just peace of mind. Um, if it's in good shape, it never leaked. Like if you're doing your own personal one, you're gonna know if your cap's any good or not. Um, as you can see, this is nice and clean. A lot better than the one I was just showing you a second ago. See how much of a difference there is? 
So what we're going to do is we're going to put a new one. The previous owner left had put this in so it wouldn't leak out, which is rather nice. I'm going to take it off. Don't need it. Um, also, when I push this in, it's going to push air out on the different sides. So I want to go ahead and just have that out. Nice thing is this goes right in. You can see facing the hole, pushes right into it. Look at that slid right in it's gonna be a little stubborn at, and it's supposed to be I mean it's brand new there we go and look at that now I'm pushing on it you can see my thumb pushing in or if I bring it around to the camera like this you can see it and you can hear it it's literally sliding in there now you can do this by um, applying a little bit of lube onto this that is just to make it slide a little easier into the groove uh, this is a personal thing for me like I said, I've worked on so many different vehicles over my life that I've come up with little things on my own that are personal, not necessarily that they're better, worse, or anything like that. It is strictly something that I've gotten into a habit of doing. Um, I find it easier for me to work when I'm pushing in a gasket or seal or anything like that to add a little bit of oil or a lube onto it so it just slips in a little bit easier. It doesn't really make that much of a difference if you're comfortable using one without it. You can, again, all you do is put the dust cap on, push it in, and then with your hands, preferably, sometimes you're not going to be able to, but try to get it in there. There is a small little groove that it fits into. You can see I keep wiping my fingers down because it does get a little bit messy. Now, gently pushing it in. Look at that. It went right in with the lube. Oh, that was so nice. Gotta love when that happens. Some people can't believe it when these things slide in. They're like, oh, I must have done something wrong. You know what? Enjoy when something goes right. I'm just making sure everything works. You're gonna even see it. It's done. There you go. That is a rebuilt uh, master cylinder that had no leak. Now, if this thing was leaking and you had, and there's a little groove and a little like side hole on the seal that gas the dust cap here that if the o-rings inside the piston if these o-rings start to go bad the fluid will pass go past this seal once they go past they start leaking you hit on that brake lever you pull on it and nothing happens or you are sitting there holding on and all of a sudden you feel you're slowing down so and all of a sudden you start picking speed up again because you're losing brake pressure and the caliper is opening up and you're losing the brakes when these go bad and they start leaking, there's a couple of reasons. One, wrong fluid eats the rubber seals, it cracks them, does whatever, that happens. Um, air in the system, of course, uh, water, but if it's leaking through this, what will happen is that fluid, as you're pressing and you're getting that pressure, will actually push back out through this, go through that whole entire dust cap area and everything, and will start to leak on this side. And you will see this cap will get wet, with brake fluid and it'll start to most likely run right out of here on the bottom and you'll have a little wet mark or a drip mark or something like that. It won't be that noticeable because it's a very small amount. Uh, when that happens, this is a problem. When you pull it apart, you can see the damage. Sometimes you can't. They make something called a brake hone and it goes inside where the piston goes it will literally clean it out. So if there's a scratch or a burr in there or something that is sticking just a hair out and it just cuts and nicks every time you push, you're scraping against it and you end up just cutting into it eventually over time. A simple little brake hone, which is almost like a sandpaper, it's made for this, run through it, will get rid of that burr and make it nice and clean. That, of course, means you have to clean out anything that's in there because you're going to have dust in there. Well metal shavings from being honed. Um, once that's taken out, you clean it. Brake cleaner's great. Um, blow it all out. Use your air. If you have an air blower, I have an air compressor. I use a blow gun. Um, love to show it to you, but I put it away in my toolbox, believe it or not. And this is it. You have completely done it. The next video, I put the dust list back on. Uh, I'm going to put this back on as well, just for the sake of keeping moisture out of it. I live in uh, Florida, which we have a lot of moisture. It's been raining most of the day, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together just so, keep it like that. And I don't lose anything. I prefer not to lose parts if I can. 
um, because the next video that I'm going to make is taking the master cylinder, old master cylinder, off and replacing it with this master cylinder as well as a new brake hose because the brake hose that I have has rust in it. Um, and it's an ugly one. I want to put something nicer in there. So